back, and it looks like I'm drinking a bunch of water right now, right? No, we are going to make instruments with these. So you can do this in a couple of ways. All you need is a glass or a cup, some water, and I'm using a chopstick, but you can use a plastic spoon or a fork, anything like that as a mallet. Um, I'm suggesting plastic utensils or pencil or chopstick because you don't want this to happen. So I have a lot of water here, medium, small, a small cup, and then I have other stuff back here that I'll show you in a little bit. But look what happens. Different sound, different sound, different sound. So you can put a lot of water and different amount. And guess what? You can make a song. So you can change the sound if you want to by, let's put more in my Hulk cup. Let's see what happens if I add more water. Ah, so the Hulk cup got higher, the sound got smaller. Now that I have less in this one, lower. That changes that too. What if I add some more to my little cup? This one's my college cup. So now I have less in my college cup, more in my little one. Ooh, that one's kind of creepy sounding. Ooh. Kind of creepy, but guess what? I can put some back in my college cup. Still kind of creepy. Less. Let's see what happens if I put less. Still kind of creepy. A little less. A little better. So we can do that. I'll move these two out of the way for a second show you I have this little plastic one oh, not really a sound on that one how about my coffee cup kind of it's a really small sound so it seems like glass is the best material and I have another special thing to show you. Find this part of your finger where you see that first line. So I'm going to put water there. So not at the fingertip, but right here. This is called the joint. So any part of your body that bends is a joint. So at that first joint, thing I found out is I gotta slow down some more water on that joint I also found that the thinner the rim of the glass, the better. So you gotta stay steady or else the sound cuts off. Ooh, I feel little vibrations there. There we go. So I'm thinking not too much water works better. Let me try on the big one. Oh, first, before I change to the big one, let's add more and see what happens. Do 
stick my finger in there a little bit, get some water off. Kind of worked. You got to be patient and experiment with it. Let's try on a bigger cup. My Hulk one again. It's almost all the way full. It's really steady. So I found this little one works best for me. I saw online that crystal works better than glass, so this one might be crystal. Let's see if it will work on my coffee cup. Just curious. Pour some water. Let's see what happens. Nope. It's kind of thick up here. So it might need um, to be thinner at the top like this one. And finally, this. So we've played our water glasses as percussion. And now I'm gonna show you how to play it like a wind instrument. So I'm putting all my water in this um, coffee pot because I like that it has this little thing to pour and it's a nice small size so if you have a little um, pouring thing like this you can do that this way I don't make a mess so I pour it about right here <laughs> Let's see what happens if I put more. My guess is it's going to be higher. It is higher. So there's a trick to play this. Put it on your bottom lip. Put your top lip out like this. In front of the of the top of the bottle. And like you're saying, like an owl. And my guess is if I pour more, it will be even higher. I can hear some of your voices saying, pour all of it. So I'm gonna try that and see what happens. I'm taking my time so I don't make a mess. I'm gonna leave some room at the top so that the sound has somewhere to go. Again, put it on your bottom lip, stick your top lip out, and say whoo. Hmm. Put some less. I guess is the sound needs even more room at the top than I thought. Maybe halfway or less. There we go. So higher. And then when it's less, lower. One last experiment. I'm gonna try some oil because oil is thicker than water. So let's see if that does something too. Okay, so I used some canola oil. You can ask your moms and dads which oil you can use. I only put a little bit in my coffee pot. Better clean it so my coffee doesn't taste like oil tomorrow. So I'm gonna pour some with the water in my little cup that worked well. I'm gonna put some in my Coke bottle too and my wind instrument. Let's try that much. 
Do you see how the oil is on the top? Oil and water do not like each other, so they stay separate. It's a very interesting scientific thing about it. Let's try our wind instrument. <laughs> really hear anything. I wonder if the thickness made that difference for them. And let's try percussion. So these two have oil. This one is just water still. You can see that difference. There's no little oil on the top. Water and water and oil. Ooh, it's kind of quieter. Ooh, kind of creepy. The oil, I think, makes my finger too slippery for this. And I can't make the sound. So it seems like you need some kind of, the word I'm going to use is resistance, to make that sound and make the vibrations happen. The vibrations go into the water and up here in the cylinder part, and that's the sound you hear. That is what sound is. In my last experiment, this is my husband's idea. So this kind of looks like a disgusting drink mix right now, but it is just our sound experiment. So let's see if we are able to see the vibrations. happening if I add some chili flakes. Make sure you wash your hands really well after this. The worst feeling is having chile on your hand and then touching your eyes after. Don't do it. It hurts. So I'm going to hold the bottom. Alright, so in our science of sound today, we found out that water in a glass at different levels makes different sounds, different um, pitches is what you call it in music, different notes. And we also found out that adding something thick like oil uh, makes the sound quieter. So. My scientific guess, my educated guess, is that, a good word for that is a hypothesis, is that the vibrations that happen in the water when I'm going like this get slower when we add oil to it because the oil is thick. So it makes it lower and harder to hear. When there's only water in there, it's easier for it to go through. Think about if you were swimming in water and in oil. You would have to kind of, that's a really silly thought, but you would have to push a little more if you were in a pool full of oil. And imagine how gross you would feel after that. But um, that is what changes the sound. The height also changes the sound. So think about the vibrations with that too. Remember our word that we learned this school year is vibroacoustics. So the vibroacoustics are able to travel more empty glass space if the water is lower. When the water is higher, there's less room for them to travel, so it's a different sound. Again, play it like percussion, like this, I would consider this percussion too, or when. <laughs> See you later. Music is over. Music is over. Thank you for the music. We're done.